We are obsessed with bicycle helmets. The messaging is incessant. Wear your helmet. If you've ever ridden a bicycle without wearing a helmet, you've been heckled by drivers, other cyclists, pedestrians. I, apart from right now, choose not to wear a helmet most of the time on my bicycle. And here's why. Bicycling is a lot of fun, good exercise, and a fine means of transportation. However, you must know the rules of safe riding, or you will find it a very dangerous sport. I'm the most boring person on the face of the earth. The craziest thing I do in my life is I get on my bike without a helmet, and I'm perfectly comfortable with that. Why am I comfortable with it? Why do I feel fine doing this when everybody tells you to wear a bike helmet? Well, a number of reasons. The first reason is that there are about a thousand other things I can do to keep myself from crashing. Can I control the behavior of others? I can't but I can control the kind of bike I ride. If I ride a bicycle that has wider tires, if I ride a bicycle that keeps me a little more upright, a little more stable geometry, a little bit of a longer wheelbase, I can control the speed at which I ride it. All of those things are completely under my control and all of those things are gonna do a hell of a lot more for me than whatever I happen to be wearing on my head at the time. All right, good for you, Mr. Safety. You're a careful bike rider. Why not wear the helmet anyway? What could it hurt? Well, it can hurt, but your idea of how much it's gonna help may be a little bit overblown because the pro-helmet messaging out there that you're subjected to constantly has given you a sense, perhaps, that the helmet is gonna protect you more than it will. Consider cars, drivers, for example. Those are the biggest dangers to you out there. A helmet, is not designed to protect you from impact with motor vehicles. A major manufacturer of helmets has said as much. The same thing goes for helmet testing. You've seen all the videos of crash testing with automobiles and airbag tests and all the stuff they do with the cars. You just assume that bicycle helmets are subjected to the same amount of testing and design. That's not necessarily true. The range of testing for bicycle helmets is fairly narrow. It accounts for a fairly limited set of scenarios. The truth is we don't really know exactly how effective bicycle helmets are. I'm not telling you that you shouldn't wear a helmet. I'm not telling you that your helmet didn't help. I am telling you to consider that sometimes our misconceptions about how effective helmets really are can be more dangerous than not wearing one. It can lead to assuming that if a bicyclist isn't wearing a helmet, they've done something wrong. They've brought injury upon themselves. We've all seen the news stories about cyclists getting hit by drivers that always make sure to mention whether or not the cyclist was wearing a helmet. And ultimately what it can lead to is mandatory helmet laws requiring people to wear helmets. If everybody's forced to wear a helmet in order to get on a bike, a lot of people decide, you know what, why bother? It makes bicycling seem a hell of a lot more dangerous and a hell of a lot more unattractive. And there's a real problem with fewer people riding bikes because more people on bikes is what makes bicycling safer. The safest places in the world to ride bikes are the places where lots and lots of people are doing it. There's a safety in numbers when it comes to riding bicycles. That's why in the Netherlands, nobody wears a helmet. Everybody rides bikes. It's one of the safest places on the planet to do so. Australia, which has a mandatory helmet law, is not a cycling utopia. It has all the problems we do here in the United States. These laws simply don't work, but they become something that we look to fall back on in lieu of actually making bicycling attractive, appealing, accessible, safe, and all the things that it really should be. Remember, the bicycle rider of today is the automobile driver of tomorrow. One reason that we're so fixated on helmets is that we have a strange relationship with bicycling in this country. We're more comfortable with cars, and it leads us to weird equivalencies, like saying, oh, what's the big deal 
with wearing a helmet when riding a bicycle. You wear a seatbelt in your car. Sure, we do, but we don't wear a seatbelt on a bicycle. Cars and bicycles are two different things. The equivalent of a seatbelt in a car is a seatbelt on a bicycle. It doesn't make sense. The equivalent of a helmet on a bicycle is a helmet in a car. You don't wear a helmet in a car. You probably should. You'd probably be a lot safer. Head injuries are a big problem in a car. You don't wear one. We don't expect people to wear one. Why? Because we understand that it's not worth the inconvenience. We're willing to take on a tiny bit of extra risk for convenience. And the same thing goes for bicycles. Not every bicycle ride is the same. Very few bicycle rides require full face helmets and knee pads and body armor and all the rest of it. Most bicycle rides require nothing except an alert rider. But the worst thing about our fixation with bicycle helmets, not with helmets themselves, please, if it makes you feel better to wear a helmet, you should wear a helmet. But the worst thing about our fixation with them is the shaming. Aren't you fed up with all the shaming in this world and on the internet? And if you don't wear a bicycle helmet, you will be soundly shamed, and I've heard it all. I've heard that I'm an organ donor. I've heard that society shouldn't have to pay for the disposal of my body or my medical care. I've heard that I run the risk of leaving my family behind as I lie there like a vegetable. This is such a negative way to think. This is not reality. This is not a way to think of your fellow human being, and the shaming just makes me want to wear them even less. So shame on. The most important reason I don't wear a helmet when I ride a bike is freedom. I love the freedom. And I know freedom is a dirty word now for a lot of people. We think people who want freedom are stupid and selfish, but freedom's a beautiful thing. And it's one of the things I love most about cycling. You're free from timetables. You're free from needing gasoline and registration and a loan and all of that other stuff. You can do it how you want. And the world I dream of is a world in which you don't notice whether someone's wearing a helmet or not. That we don't see a picture of someone on a bike on the internet and leave comments, where's your helmet? Who cares if you're wearing a helmet or not? As long as you're on a bike and enjoying yourself, that's all that matters. That's where I think we need to get to. That's where I'm at already. I ride my bike the way I want to do it. I hope you'll do it too. I hope you won't judge people for how they do it. And I hope you will keep riding and continue to love it. It's the best thing in the world. So we bring to a close the story of rigid control through the unceasing research and the highest quality.